Welcome to Pick Your Poison. Today you're contracting one of the deadliest and most mysterious diseases on Earth, the Ebola virus. Ebola comes from the jungle regions of Zaire and is actively carried by fruit bats, but how the disease gets passed on to humans is still pretty much unknown. The popular hypothesis is that fruit bats drop partially eaten fruits, which are then eaten by other animals like monkeys and antelopes, who later spread the disease to pigs, who later spread the disease to humans. It's a bit of a he said, she said, pig said thing, and it still doesn't quite fully address the whole question of how did the fruit bats get Ebola in the first place, which is why understanding and effectively treating the disease is fruit bat shit crazy hard, and why no no one has a really good solution for it. Currently, there is no vaccine for the disease and 90% of the people infected die. Ebola starts the same way everything else does, with flu-like symptoms and a fever. It's a pretty weak opener, but four to six days later, you'll be in a coma with a hemorrhagic fever. Gnarly. Hemorrhagic fevers cause you to bleed out of your eyes, ears, nose, and pretty much everywhere else. Then you'll die and people will either burn or bury your body. You weird deado, stop being so dead all the time. Anyway, you just died from Ebola and things are not looking good. First off, you didn't just die from Ebola. You died as a part of an Ebola outbreak. You see, governments and society in general take mysterious, highly contagious diseases with a 90% mortality rate very seriously. This means that you were quarantined, questioned, and kept away from your friends and family as you lay in a hospital bed waiting to die. Plus, there's no vaccine or reliable treatment, so medical care pretty much consists of hooking you up to an IV and flooding your body with painkillers. But when you're shooting blood out of your eyes, all the happy juice in the world isn't gonna make a difference. My advice, don't get Ebola. I really can't stress that enough. Click here if you'd like to punch a different death ticket, maybe give the old Greenland shark a try, and click here to subscribe. Also, please let me know in the comments below if there's a disease, poison, or just a generally cool way to die that you'd like to hear more about. Let's get weird, people. You only die once.